the thing about governance, um, a woman delivers a child, you know, the child comes out, the umbilical cord is caught, and it should be absorbed for the woman to re request or expect that the child be brought back or returned to her womb. Um, the fact of governance is multifaceted. The political party must be involved, other consultations must be made, traditional rulers and every other thing before a council can be created. Uh, but that is at the instance of the governor, not the, at the instance of any other human being. I was beginning to reason how possible it could have been if you have an executive where you have a good number of the members uh, being loyal to one particular individual and different from the governor and others, and the same thing with the House of Assembly. How do you bring in synergy? How do you bring in collaboration, cooperation? You know, because the, the governance is all about uh, deep thinking, deep thoughts, logical deductions here and there. No single man can do it for a state as large as maybe River State. And it involves a whole lot of things. Uh, the, the governor could not have gone ahead to make these appointments if he didn't make the consultations. But in the first place, he should have even given some due um, panda, some interest to his um, former uh, his, uh, former boss to a large extent and see how that I will even go for peace. But the crux of the matter is that we have not developed our democracy in such a way that there's a, a, a complete seizure of influence between the former and the, and the current and the incumbent, which is totally wrong. You find it also in the presidency that even though they are in the sidelines, they want to virtually or literally be running the state of affairs. And it is totally wrong. The governor is the alter ego for, of governance in all the states. He's the chief executive, you know, by virtue of our uh, system of uh, democracy, uh, executive system of uh, democracy. And I, I don't think it would be any good for anybody for Australian uh, say influences to begin to determine the direction the governor, the governance should go, or the policy the government should take. Uh, to the very best of my knowledge, this matter shouldn't have gone to this end if the proper uh, dialectics or dynamics were put into perspective by ensuring that everybody is carried along, particularly the people of the state. That was why when we talked about initially about that peace agreement and the defection, the, the constitutional implications of that defection, and people felt that maybe you can go ahead and do our own thing now, our own way, it erupted back. It returned back, and except it is done practically well, very well, in a very proactive manner. It will keep reverberating around the state. At the end of the day, the governor will be so distracted, he will not do anything within his tenure. The people of River State are the losers, because when two elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. As to the extent that I understand, the president played a very good role. A lot of people will play a very, very good role. But we must try to begin to win, win some of these uh, political influences that are uh, applied negatively to our political uh, governance, you know, that disrupts the political environment, that distorts the political space. Things that, that, have, that have to do with this type of influence, overbearing influence, imposition, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, to sometimes hijacking of uh, a particular system for one's own personal interest. It's not just the River State alone, it's all over the place. I am not from River State, but I can tell you about my state that these things obtain. So there must be a particular mechanism for getting those who have served out of the way. And it doesn't mean that the incumbent will not consult them after they have experience. You know, it, it's not that you don't relate to them or ask for their advice on certain critical issues of governance. But it's not that the person should be hanging around all over looking for a way maybe to disrupt governance or maybe to, 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 to remove the rug from under the governor's feet. I don't think it's right. You find that kind of attitude or character also in our local government system. In majority of our public offices, I, I think the earlier this is discarded, the better for us.